Okay, we're gonna talk about abandoned cart follow-up automation. So this is really good if you are selling a digital product and you use a two-step order form, which essentially means someone needs to put in their contact info, that could be name, email, phone number, any variation of that, uh, and then go to step two. Now, even if they don't purchase at step two, if they filled out step one, you have that information now and you can send them abandoned cart follow-ups. So for our trigger, we're going to do order form submission and then we're going to do in funnel slash websites. You want to choose the correct funnel or website uh, that you will be linking this to. And then you will choose the funnel. Then you'll do the page. Choose the checkout page or whatever page your two-step order form is on. And then go ahead and do submission type. And we want to do opt-in. If we did sale, that would wait for someone to purchase it. But if we do opt-in, that will then allow us to capture their information once they submit step one. So now you can do whatever you want. Uh, of course, you can add a tag. What I would probably do would be to wait uh, probably like 30 minutes if this was where someone was buying a product. So I do wait 30 minutes. Then I would do an if else statement. And I would do contact details. I'm looking for tag here. So if someone has the tag that they purchased this, so let's say I'm selling a low ticket offer uh, and I have an automation set up. So when someone buys that offer, they get tagged as a paying member for that offer. Well, I don't want to send abandoned cart follow-ups to someone who's purchased it. So that's why I'm going to wait 30 minutes and then I'm going to see if they get that purchased tag. So let's say we did like paying member SAA. Right, and that means they purchased. If they get that and they're a paying member, we don't need to do anything. Right, but if they do not have that, then we want to send them our abandoned cart information. So that could be an email, that could be an SMS, etc. This way, you're just making sure that you're not sending abandoned cart follow ups to someone who purchased because if you don't qualify it with this condition here, that will happen. So again, from here, you can do anything you want, uh, and that's completely up to you. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions on the abandoned cart automations. Again, this only works with the two-step order forms.